Yeah, we'll go with that. There we go. Uh, guess what happened? What happened, Sophie? My computer's irreparable. Pickwin is no more. Pickwin is no more. Oh my goodness. I mean, um, can you believe this? Yeah, I, Dad is beside himself. I, he has no idea. How, you have no idea how much he spent on my computers over the years, and he just keeps on getting frustrated. He keeps on getting frustrated, and now he's saying, "Sophie, you're never getting a desktop, a, a laptop ever again. You've burnt through two very high end desktops, five thousand dollars each." No, well, 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 not desktop laptops. I mean, sorry, laptops. He burnt through two laptops at five thousand dollars each, and it's been four years. So, in saying it, I can't believe that this is the As Yet Undecided podcast with your broken hosts... Mike and Sophie. Mike is more broken than me. Yes, but in saying that, this is why, if you have if you listen to the Hello Internet podcast... Yeah. This is why, this is where the two is one comes into play. Why is that? Having two computers means you only actually have... One computer. Oh, because one of them is always broken? Yeah, well, if one's broken, you have the one for backup. Yeah, dude. So right at this moment, I'm currently using a spare computer from Dad's garage. And it's, um, what you call basic. It's a basic bitch. It's a basic bitch. It barely runs. But it runs. And it's better than not running at all. Yes, like a nose. Yeah, I know. So, in order to start off this very geeky podcast, because me and Buck are going to build my um, dream computer. Oh, God. I'm sorry, Mike. We're going to start off some very geeky food. Um, chocolate popcorn from... Wait, what? Chocolate popcorn. Chocolate popcorn? From Popico, which is actually a small popcorn shop, specialty popcorn shop over near Queen Street. It's part of the um, Civic Theatre Complex. Pop- Popico? Popoco. And it's actually, um, it's, actually right, it's actually right next to a Hoo Hoo Cat mocktail um, t- tea shop. Oh, yes, 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 yes. So, it always smells gorgeous. The whole place smells like caramel. So, I always wanted to go in and try some of the popcorn. I have tried one of their seaweed ones. It's actually very nice. But here's the first ever chocolate one. Mike's confused. Now, I would call this... Yes. A chocolate drizzle. Yes. For example. But the problem is... It it tastes burnt. It doesn't taste like popcorn. Pro- proper popcorn. It tastes burnt. It tastes slightly burnt, yes. But I mainly can taste the dark chocolate, which is actually really nice. I like this. Mmm. But for you, it tastes burnt. Therefore, the popcorn experience is ruined. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, it, 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 it's it's coming better to me now, which is great. Um, because hey, fruit popcorn mm-hmm. can be thrown in the rubbish. Honestly, they have peat popcorn over there. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Okay, okay. Specialty popcorns are fine, mm-hmm. but that generic fruit crap. Oh. That generic fruit crap that comes in bags. Yeah. That stuff can be thrown in the rubbish. The what? The ones that colours like yellow, green, red. Do you want some more? Not right now. I'm getting a bit hungry. Then eat it. Why? Okay. More to the more to the point. I need to save some for you. Why is Sophie always hungry? Am I fat? No. Oh, sorry. Ph. <laughs> you have a pH of seven fat. <laughs> Coming from you, that's rather rich. <laughs> Just like the chocolate. Mm. Um, yeah, that that sort of popcorn can be thrown in the rubbish. Mm. Specialty popcorns, mm. like that. Yeah. The caramel. Oh, they have caramel. All right. Um, I wouldn't mind trying that peach. Mm-hmm. But I would think it would have to be either really fruity, oh yeah, or really juicy mm. when you have it, yeah. Because because you, you know the one one annoying thing about popcorn, yeah, is that it's a little dry boy. It's a little bit of a dry boy experience. Is this half? 
Yeah, we'll go with that. Uh, I'll give you a little bit more. Yeah, it's a little bit dry. Like the humour. Yes, so if you can get um, a popcorn that is dry on the inside, but mm. slightly wet on the outside, mm. that'll be amazing. The popcorn gets soaked through very quickly. Yeah, exactly. And, and, you know, that's why butter is relatively good at doing this, because it is an oil. Mm. So, like, um, like a peach oil. Yeah. I'm not sure how they would do that. Mm. But, you, you know, you, you sort of get Citrus that. Citrus oil. Yeah, yeah. Something like that would be great on a popcorn. Mm. Or even, um... Or even like a salted plum oil popcorn. Oh, wow. Yeah. Like, what would you think of that? That would be great. Yeah. Now, on to dreams. <laughs> on to dreams. Okay. Uh, no, unless you want to talk about um, flavors of popcorn more. No, 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 no. We, we can carry on, but... Um, yeah. Great choice. Yeah? Um, do you like this? Yes, I do. Okay, good. It's... 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 Not as pretentious. Mm. Mate, six dollars. Come on, six dollars. Yeah. When you're pay when you're paying two bucks for a biscuit, mm. and you're getting six bucks of that for popcorn. Yeah. It's a little bit less pretentious. Okay, okay, but popcorn's usually really cheap. Yeah, I know, but still, my point is taken. But it's it's probably one of the better ones that I actually enjoy. Yeah. Because it's mid range pretentious. Mid range pretentious, not two dollars per biscuit pretentious. Yes. Yeah. So you, you know, I would, you know, for a treat, mm -hmm. I would actually grab that or something very similar. Cool. So like a salted caramel popcorn, mm -hmm. or like you said, the peach one, would be great. Oh, okay. Okay, now. Sophie's dreams. I'll do a pretentious computer. Yeah, um, because we come from conflicting backgrounds. Somehow we're still friends. Of course. Not too sure how. Because, because I should be annoying to him because I'm so, I am such a rich girl, right? A valley girl. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> you so big, so... Wait, sorry. I should be acting like that. Yes. But somehow I don't, and that's why we're, that's why we're friends. Be like, oh my god! god. <laughs> He's so poor! He's, he doesn't even wear proper shoes! Yes, so like, I'm not going to hang out with you because you do not you do not have four suits. I'm not going to hang out with you because you, do not, you don't have a Gucci sunglasses. You don't have Gucci sunglasses. Uh, okay. Mm. Never mind that. Never mind that. Okay. I'm not like that. Thank the gods. Otherwise, I wouldn't have met Mike, and they wouldn't have such a good friend. Exactly. So, people, give your friends, give poor people a chance, please. <laughs> otherwise, you just otherwise, <laughs> if you don't give poor people a chance, you're just being a very shallow dick. Give, give, okay. Ne never ever judge someone by their financial con financial circumstances. That's what I'm saying. Give poor smart people a chance. Yeah. Give poor smart people a chance. Don't be a dick. And don't be so shallow. Yes. Yes. Mind you, I do have my shallow moments. I, I, you must forgive me for that, please. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Trust me. You, you, you know, you do forgive my error and judgment sometimes. So right? Is. Oh, some of the things that I said that w would not be ideal. Am I correct in that assumption? You never say things that are not ideal. No, no, but you, you know, there's some things that you kind of think, like, wait a minute. Is he actually saying what I think he's saying? I never have that. You, 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 you're practically perfect. Okay, okay. Or am I being naive? A little bit. Right. A little bit. But it's okay. You're 20. It's fine. Naivety is fine. Um, okay. Crap. The world is crap. Now, um, I have actually been thinking about this myself. Mm -hmm. Um, because... We need to understand mm. um, how Sophie wants to play this. Mm. Because of the two is one strategy. Yeah. How Not does two and one, two is one. Yeah, two is one strategy. Mm. How does Sophie want to play this? Literally. 
Yes. So, would she be more likely to use the laptop mm. or the desktop more? They're saying a lot of us have a high-end laptop anymore because I kept on crashing through them. Yes. So, um, you, you know, I'm coming about this from a purely philosophical standpoint. Yeah. And Sophie just wants the numbers. Yes. You know... If it was a perfect world, I'll get a high-end laptop. And the high-end desktop. Both, probably. Yeah, you would have both. <laughs> right? But, since we do not live in the Star Trek 25th century universe... But, um, unlimited resources. Yes. Post-scarcity world. Yes. We have to come to that sort of in-between paths where you're going to get the optimal of both backgrounds. Yeah. Right? So for now, I have to get a high-end desktop. No, you need both. Yeah. But which side of the ledger do you want to play off? The desktop. Because that's all That's all what Dad will allow now. So, yeah, okay. Take, for instance, you can get a 14-inch cheap-as-the-mill laptop from the warehouse yeah. for $280. Mm-hmm. Right? That would be the budget of the budget laptops that anyone could allow. Right. So that would be my purchase mm. down the line because my tablet is broken. It works, mm. but it's broken. How so? Cracked screen. Can you not see the cracks? It looks like a spider's web. Looks like looks like web spiders. <laughs> it works. Yeah. Um, I can plug it in, into that, and I can plug it into the monitors at uni. Yeah. Which would be the primary purpose. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's broken. Yeah. Um, and with me, we've talked about this in the podcast before, that I have a 2400G uh, chipset from Ryzen, mm -hmm. which for me is my essential two-in-one. Mm. Right? It's not high... High spec, but it's just above the best budget chipset that you can get. Yeah. Currently. Um, and we talked about possible recycling. Mm hmm Because, um, unfortunately for Sophie, and I got a message about this today. Yeah. Sophie said, oh, I'm just going to chuck it away. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. I'll chuck it away just yet. So I have yeah. to, I'm, I'm going to call Dow and ask them if they can do something for me. Yes. So I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. Yeah. Let's see what can be reused mm. from your laptop and reconstitute it into something else. So far, it's only the hard drive, which is actually solid state. So maybe a good idea to keep that. Yes, plus, mm. the one thing that you, you have compared to anybody else mm. is that you have a solid state drive, plus you have a Windows license. Oh, of course. So, so is that Windows license tied to my Windows account? Yes, but it is tied to the solid state drive. Oh, so are you saying that I should actually use the solid state drive to get to my Windows? Yes. Clever. Mm. Well, well, we'll talk to Dad about it then. Yes. Because he has a computer technician friend who's even more clever than you. Yeah, I know. I know. I get that. In that regard. Yeah, but I'm like, this is, this is the enterprising part of me coming out here. Yeah. The cheap, the cheap stack, the cheap stacks from. Where are you from again? Like Patia? Yeah. The cheap stacks from Patia. That's the part of you that's coming out. Yes. Yeah, so, you know, if it was me, and this is what I'm going to be doing yeah. later on, mm. I'm going to reconstitute the RAM of my laptop yeah. into those little NUC computer things. Oh, yes. And I'm going to hand that off to a to a friend of mine. So it's go who, that, need it, who needs it more than me. Yeah, so it's going to be reconstituted mm. um, to someone else, and, and it's being going to be repurposed. Recycling. Yes. Which will go around. So, you know, with the computer that I got from Sophie, the free one, yeah. I, I 
I fixed it and reused and repurposed it. Yeah. As a media center mm. for my cousin. Does it work? It works fine. Wow. Even though you were like, and initially when you got the phone computer and you opened it up, you said, I can see why you gave it to me for free. Yeah. <laughs> but because, because of your dad's conditions. Yeah. I said, okay. Because uh, you said, because he said that you have to give it away for free. You're not allowed to sell it. So that yeah. Was the condition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not allowed to sell it for profit. Yeah. So that's what I did. I repurposed it. And you gave it away. And I gave it away for free. But the, yeah, the, the only our only condition was that you, you're not allowed to sell it. And I'm very glad you honoured that. Yes. Because you know, I'm all about honouring someone's requests. Yes. I'm very big on that. Dishonor upon mm. your family and dishonor upon your cow. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm all about integrity. Yes. Even though other people are usually not. No, yeah, exactly. Um, like me. Like, I was super late today. But it's okay. Okay. At least I told you I was, I was going to yeah. be late. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so we talked about reusing the RAM. RAM. Okay. After you contact the manufacturer... Yeah. And see what you can do around those fronts. Okay. Um, but generally, if you have a laptop, you can't do that much about it unless you're going to be get a refurbished version of the current laptop, if it's within warranty. Yes. I'm not too sure if it's within warranty. It's been two years. Yeah, but, you know, you're going to email the manufacturer Extra, and find it. Yeah. So, in saying that... If we go past that point, mm-hmm. and you, you know, you think about all of the plans that we're going to have, mm-hmm. because of what I know now, yeah, and you want to get the best laptop, well, the most value at the high end, yeah, desktop, desktop for Sophie, yeah, right, right. Now, you have to debate either. You want to go um, either AMD or Intel. Okay. And then you have to think, um, what RAM? No, 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 yeah, what? How many cores does Sophie want? I'll put it this way. I want, like, an i7 chip, which automatically means I have to go for six cores. Yes, it is, yeah, the minimum for an eighth generation. Yeah. Which was last year coming into this year. Crabby Lake? Is it called Crabby Lake? Or? Yeah, I think so. It's, it's very crabby. It's, um, I yeah. mean, why would they name chips and electronics after water? I thought, actually, water didn't mix. I don't know. I don't know what their naming schedule is. But whatever they want to call it, that's what I want to call it. But like how parents would sometimes name their daughters Katie, um, K K E E E E E E E E K H E's Katie. Now, you, well, it's well. Would you rather rather name it after a lake or name it after a, a bulldozer? What would you name the bulldozer after though? For, from well, that was the old AMD platform. So what are bulldozers they named after? you got your caterpillars, your... Yeah, your caterpillar, excavator, all of those sort of things. The yellow digger? Yeah, you, you know... That the was the yellow digger. <laughs> and that was all about the um, the nanometers of the chipset. Oh, yeah? When they go to a, to a smaller amount, it's named after a bulldozer. Okay. So what else can you probably name it after? Um, oh, I don't know. N- name it. Uh, name Mike's it. Skill, Mike's girlfriends. Well, there's not many generations of that, wouldn't there? No. Name it after Sophie's boyfriends. Um, we wouldn't even get off the ground, Mike. I never had a boyfriend. Biggie guy. That's sad. <laughs> um, how about um, Mike's medications? Oh God, <laughs> I have more medications than I do. Previous girlfriends. Yes. <laughs> we're, named, we're named after Mike's medications, present then yes. present then past. N- n- yeah, no, 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 yeah, no, no, no. We'll go from past to present. Past to present, yeah. I wouldn't mind trying the new Ventolin 
chipset. <laughs> the Intel Ventolin. <laughs> It makes more sense to Krabby, like... Yeah. Copyright um, problems aside. <laughs> this is this podcast is brought to you by Glyco Smith Klein. I know. Glyco Smith Klein. At, at least we're a little more ethical than those Monsanto guys. Yeah. Um, yeah, good for all mathematics everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. If we go to sign up a chips company, we're going to name it after all the medications you've taken in your life. Sweet. Sweet. Now, how how many generations would that be? Too many. <laughs> it could be good, like, like if you think about all of the possible medications that I've taken. Yeah. Throughout the thirty odd years of my life. From aspirin to nephrodrin. To to fluoride tablets. To what's that chemo thing you're calling it? Oh, methotrexate. Yeah, that's the big mother effer. Uh, yeah, that's... The, that, that's the mother effer of all medications. That is, that is, y- y- you know, if, if we talk about yeah. medications as a whole, mm-hmm. that kicks you. Is, isn't, that, isn't that so powerful they have to inject it in through your heart? No, but that's the high strength ones. That's the high strength ones, it's so powerful, if they do not inject it through your heart to get the blood pumped in through quickly, you're going to die. Yeah. Yeah, so, so I was on a... Yeah, but never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Now, because of Sophie wanting the best of both worlds. Yes. So, before this podcast, I didn't quite realise there was a difference between a workstation computer and a gaming computer. Yes. What is the difference between the two? And can you use one as the other? Well, yeah, well you can, mm. but you need to realise that primarily most games mm. run off two cores running very fast okay right they are getting to a point where they want to extend that yeah to four cores but it's because you need to um have a safety buffer yeah for all the stuff running in the background mm. so you need to have some sort of um contingency plan so it's the hertz that matters, not the how many cores you have. Correct. Mm-hmm. But with the workstation, yeah, it is the complete opposite. It's not the hertz that matters, but rather how many cores. Yes. Why is that? Because every core is being used. Okay. There is no contingency. Right. Because? Because cause it is the primary purpose that you are using it on an active sense. In a gaming sense, it's more of a passive sort of background sense. So all the processes is happening in the background when you're gaming, and when you're working on something, say Word, or yes. like um, Adobe Illustrator, yeah. all the processes that you are active. Yes. And therefore all the cores are going to be used. So therefore, what we want is something that's high, high core, high number of cores, and high frequency. Yes. So how come it's two threads per core? So for example, you have a quad core and eight threads, or six core and twelve threads. Why is it two threads per core? Now, by the way, this is going to be a extended podcast. We'll probably have to split this into two, and um, we have we'll probably have to take a food break in between. Yes. Yes. That's so. Right. Sorry, so, we love geeking out over on this. It's a, it's a set of ours. Please indulge us. Now, thank you, Mike. With threads. Yeah, do you enjoy talking about this, or am I boring you? That's fine. I don't mind talking about this. It's fine. You sure? Yeah. Uh, do you want to talk about something else? Or? No. Okay, I've got Mike's permission. Mind you, that does not mean anything these days. He usually says yes to everything just to keep me happy. Mm-hmm. Which is a bit sad. Yeah, a little bit sad. <laughs> um, oh, God. W- w- I'm being a bad friend here. Yeah. With, with threads, um, you can either have one thread or two threads per CPU. What happens if you have three threads? It, you can't. Why not? Because one will be for in, yeah, it's it's generally the best way I can describe it is it's an input output. Okay, so it's like you have your mouth and you have your anus, or you can have your mouth as your anus, as you would with some um, marine creatures such as the anemone, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, so you know, it's sort of like input output. Right. One threads for in, one, one threads for, for out. out. One's a mouth and one's the other, and the other's an anus. Yes. So that's the reason why you can't get three threads on a call because we don't know what the third thread will be used for yes so that you know we're not we're not going into quantum computing yet 
No. So, so that third, like, if there was to be a third thread, mm-hmm. theoretically, I would think it would be more of a quantum sense. But the thing is, quantum computers will actually not run as well on a normal computer, a Correct. screen, as, say, your normal stock standard mechanical computer, because with a quantum computer, they rely on not knowing where a qubit is at any given time. Correct. But if you need to use a screen, you need to know where the qubits are at any given time, and that kind of collapses the thing into one into binary again, which kind of reduces, negates the point of having a quantum computer. Yes. So, in saying that... Yeah, because we're not dealing with quantum computers. Two threads per core. One po- yeah, yeah, po- possibly. Like, like the, f- the higher up that you get, yeah. the more likely it's going to be two threads per core. So, why not have four threads, two in, two out? Well, you can. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 you can't. Why not? You can't. Let's just theoretically say that you can't. The, the, the technology does not exist. Technology does not exist. So it's something that's cur- maybe that's currently being developed, but I can't buy it as a yeah. mere consumer. The, so we're just going to put that theory aside, and I was just being an ass. Yeah, so you would rather have... Yeah, which one would you rather have? One core with four, four threads, or two cores with two thre- uh, with four threads? Two cores with, two, with four threads. Yeah. Okay. okay. Right. So, we are not... We are not going to get... A thread, thread ripper, twenty nine, ninety x. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We are not getting an animation slash supercomputer. Okay, because because with the twenty nine ninety x, which yeah. is uh, which is a thirty two core, sixty four thread, AMD platform on a six hundred dollar motherboard. So why would who would actually buy that? Um. High end, uh, you, you know, it would be for high end um, video production. High end video production, animation, design. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like um, architect- architecture, I suppose. Yeah. So, uh, so, 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 any sort of huge monumental tasks. Yeah. Where it's very time dependent. Oh yes. That you need that. All right. So I can imagine you using that in, in an architecture company and stick that with the white with the Wacom's tablet slash Dell. Yeah, whatever. Workstation. Yeah. Dell Workstation, yeah. Or, or, or even using it as a possible server. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. It is powerful enough to be a server, right? Yeah. Because, you know, those sort of ones would have eight channels of memory. Oh, yeah. And the possibilities of that, you know, you can get 256 gigabytes of memory. Point of the matter is, I need something that's consumer side. Yes, you need more consumer orientated. Consumer, or- mind you, when does a, when does the computer become less consumer orientated and more business orientated slash industry orientated? Well, because there's often a bit of a gradient, isn't it? Yes, the, yes, there is a gradient, and I think with you that we are getting to that point. We're getting to something that's almost industrial, but not quite there. Yes. Yeah. So I, I want something that straddles the line. You could say now. Now, for uh, I would think because we're talking about a component sense. Oh yes. That you do not care about case. Because the casing. You you do not care about casing. You do oh, not yeah. care about colourful LED. Oh how no! I'm not one of those roidy verb. Um. But the thing is, um, the, with the casing, do keep in mind, the computer will be moved because I will be moving house, but not till November now. The landlord's daughter's having a baby. Yeah. So she's having maternity leave from housing. Um. It's um five thir- Okay. Um. We will stop it there yeah. and go into part two of this uh, of Sophie's new, new computer. computer. Should I stop it here? Yeah. Stop it there. Okay. Well, um, we flip over the tape. Part two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>